The all new Linux Mint 21 is now out and available for download. The system that is loved by millions is now reborn with stunning new features, impressive improvements and a refreshed experience all while maintaining the same Linux Mint aura. I know you all have been eagerly looking forward to this major release and the wait is finally over. Linux Mint 21 codenamed Vanessa is out and brings many exciting new things. A new base bringing the latest software versions, a set of improved Linux Mint apps and a number of well-picked big and small advancements throughout the system make this release a huge update to Linux Mint. So let's jump right in and check out the 10 biggest and greatest highlights of Linux Mint 21. Linux Mint 21 comes with a completely new base. It is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and this results in an improved experience over its predecessors. It all starts right here. Now we get an updated set of packages which brings us the latest technological and feature set. Compared to the last version of Linux Mint, we get much newer software versions. This results in a fresh and feature packed experience for the users. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version is very stable and reliable. Linux Mint 21 inherits the same stability. Linux Mint 21 will be supported till 2027. This makes Linux Mint a great operating system for long term computing needs. Then we get Cinnamon Desktop Environment version 5.4 here. This is a brand new Cinnamon in the same great flavor. Under the hood, this is the biggest update to Cinnamon Desktop in a long time. Its window manager Muffin has received a major rebase from Mutter 3.36. This will enable easier rebasing and porting technologies from GNOME to Cinnamon in the future. This also brings uniformity to applications created using different technologies. Visually, Cinnamon 5.4 is the same as before, thank heavens. The elegant and polished UI we get here remains unaltered, but there are improvements here. In the menu, right clicking on an application brings up the context menu. Now this is a great improvement for faster productivity. Animations are retouched a bit. Now we can't fine tune animations like before, but the default set looks cleaner and more polished. Anti-aliasing is cleaner and rounded corners look more crisper now. Long term Linux Mint users will be happy to see there are no changes in how you use Linux Mint. It's the same great productivity booster as ever. Bluetooth connectivity gets an update with Linux Mint 21. Blue Man replaces Blueberry as the Bluetooth manager here. Out of the box, Blue Man features better connectivity, especially when it comes to headsets and audio profiles. And this is an amazing improvement as I personally have experienced spotty Bluetooth connectivity now and then in the older Linux Mints. The new Blue Man Manager and Tray icon provide many features that weren't available in Blueberry and a lot more information that can be used to monitor your connection or troubleshoot Bluetooth issues. The older Blueberry depended on GNOME Bluetooth, which was developed exclusively for GNOME. In contrast, Blue Man relies on the standard Blue Stack, which works everywhere and can even be used or queried from the command line. So this is a fantastic change. Linux Mint 21 also brings improved thumbnails. In older versions, Linux Mint didn't display thumbnails for many commonly used file types like MP3 album cover art. This has been fixed with a new project called XApp Thumbnailer. The project brings support for app images, EPUB books, MP3 album covers, and raw pictures in almost all formats. This makes browsing your file manager a more colorful affair. The sticky notes have been improved to make them more usable. I'm a huge fan of taking quick notes and sticky notes in Linux Mint was just great as it let me quickly capture my ideas and it's feature rich with some neat organization aspect to it. Now with this update, the option to randomly assign colors has been removed in favor of the option to assign colors in a cyclical manner. When this option is selected in the preferences, it no longer picks random colors for the notes, but cycles through the color set to maximize the probability of each note having a different color. This also makes the notes look more organized. You can also change the note color directly here to organize them. We can now duplicate notes too, and notes are now nicely placed relative to their parent notes. This adds a nice structure to the notes. A sharp update to a nifty tool. Timeshift is a popular backup and restore tool for Linux. You might have heard me mention it in many of my videos as this is a very powerful tool that's also very easy to use and extremely useful. It has saved my system innumerable times. So Timeshift's creator was unable to maintain it because of some reasons and Linux Mint team took up the development and maintenance of Timeshift. Timeshift debuts as an official Linux Mint X app in Linux Mint 21. It's still distro agnostic and can be installed and used in other Linux distributions too, but it's good to see a fantastic software being passed on from one brilliant developer to another team of brilliant developers. Xviewer, the default image viewer on Linux Mint has also been updated. 
It receives WebP format support, which is a growingly popular web image format. This format was previously opened in the web browser. Navigating images on the file system is also improved with a nice and smooth slideshow effect. The Web App Manager supports additional browsers and custom browser parameters for a more flexible web application setup. Whenever an automated or scheduled process like a regular backup creation or a system update runs in the background, the system might go under an elevated load and on low power devices, it might cause a temporary minor system slowdown. To let you know why this is happening, a little process monitor is added to Linux Mint 21. Whenever an automated task is running, the monitor places an icon in your system tray. Your computer might still become slow momentarily during an update or a snapshot. But with a quick look on the tray, you'll immediately know what's going on. I like this little feature as it brings about a transparency and lets you know what exactly is going on with your system. Connecting your printer to computer and getting it to work has been a hassle on all the operating systems. And on Linux, it's been an even bigger headache. Linux Mint 21 comes with driverless printer and scanner support out of the box. It uses the IPP protocol. With driverless printing and scanning gear, everything is easy and fast. You simply connect your printer or scanner to your computer and it's ready to go. Yeah, that's it. Most printers and scanners will be plug and play with Linux Mint 21. Now that's something to be excited about. Linux Mint has always provided an amazing set of default wallpapers. And this time around too, we get a stunning wallpaper pack. I'm always curious about Mint wallpapers, even in minor releases. In Linux Mint 21, we get an array of curated wallpapers where every single one is unique and colorful. I can tell you that you're really going to enjoy these. There's something for everybody and every single photo here tells a story. And from an aesthetic point of view, these are made to impress and capture. Linux Mint has always provided a very refined as well as a simple computing experience for users of all levels. Productivity and getting work done is the prime objective of Linux Mint and the desktop environment is easy to navigate and very beginner friendly. Linux Mint is loved because of these reasons. When I say loved, I mean it's one of the most popular desktop Linux distributions in the world with a million strong user base. Linux Mint with this update refreshes the underlying tech, updates the software versions and brings in many refinements, all while being consistent with what Linux Mint is. And for people who just want to get some work done, this consistency is just invaluable. So go ahead and give it a try. The download link for Linux Mint 21 is given in the description below. And for people using older versions of Linux Mint, you'll soon be getting a brand new upgrade tool that will let you safely upgrade to Linux Mint 21 with just a few clicks. I'll be dropping many more Linux Mint related videos in the coming weeks, so definitely subscribe to the channel to catch those. If you're passionate about learning advanced Linux, definitely check out my one-on-one -on -one training program. Linux Mastery is my 30-day live course where I'll take you right from installing a Linux distribution to an advanced Linux user. You'll start with the fundamentals of Linux and master more than 100 commands. Then we'll proceed to master shell scripting, Linux system administration, Linux networking and many more advanced topics and the whole course will be live so you'll be learning from me in real time and getting all your questions answered at the same time. So book your spot right now, link in the description below.